Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency will begin a new series of inspections at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant on Monday. Officials say they want to determine if the plant can safely remain in a state known as cold shutdown. Inspection teams are to check equipment and contingency preparations by examining manuals and interviewing workers over a three-week period. The equipment includes a reactor cooling system that recycles decontaminated water from the facility. Another crucial element is a nitrogen injection system used to prevent hydrogen explosions. The checks will be the first safety tests required by law since the onset of the nuclear crisis. The government declared in mid-December that the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant had achieved a state of cold shutdown. It says reactor temperatures have stabilized below 100 degrees Celsius and the release of radioactive substances has been contained. The cleanup at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has hit more snags. The plant operator is trying to contain newly discovered water leaks. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it's found two new leaks from systems at the plant. About 30 liters of water have escaped. Company's officials say none of the leaked water has spilled into the sea. The company had already found leaks in 14 other parts of the plant. Nearly eight tons of water escaped. They say all the leaks were probably caused by water freezing and expanding in cold water. Workers will try to prevent more leaks by patrolling the plant on cold mornings and wrapping insulation around pipes and equipment. The operator of Fukushima Daiichi has found water to be leaking at 14 locations at its crippled plant. It said the leaks apparently occurred after frozen water ruptured the pipes and that the leaked water did not contain any radioactive materials. TEPCO said about 40 liters of water leaked from a cooling system for a spent fuel pool at the number 4 reactor on Sunday morning, but the leak stopped when workers closed the valve. The utility said the leak forced the system to stop for 1 hour and 40 minutes, but the pool's temperature did not rise. The temperature near the plant fell to minus 8 degrees Celsius on Sunday morning. Ruptured pipes caused three leaks of water on the previous day. A TEPCO official admitted that the utility failed to take sufficient steps to prevent pipes freezing in the cold weather. He said it will take quick action to protect the pipes. For 10 months, Tokyo Electric Power Company could only guess what was happening inside the reactors that suffered the meltdowns at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Last month, it got its first clear view. The utility sent a fiber optic camera into one of the reactors. On today's Nuclear Watch, we look at what they found and what they failed to find. At HK World's, Yoshiyuki Yamasaki has the detail. So, Yoshiyuki, we know from a previous study that uh, fuel melted through the walls of the core units of three reactors and fell into the bottom of the containment vessels. What is the purpose, main purpose, of this latest survey? Mm -hmm. Typical said the camera inspection was the first chance to look inside the containment vessels. It was a chance to see directly whether the fuel cells 
are submerged in coolant water. TEPCO needs this information in order to maintain a stable state of cold shutdown and to study ways to remove the fuel. Until now, the company only had estimates based on computer simulations. The survey was carried out at the number two reactor. An endoscope was inserted through a hole about seven meters from the bottom of the reactor's containment vessel. The camera was designed for industrial use and can withstand highly radioactive environments. All right, and this is what we want to know. What did TIPCO find? These are the images taken by the endoscope. Conditions inside the vessel made it difficult to take clear pictures. The white spots are apparently caused by the high radiation. Steam and poor lighting also reduced visibility. What the video revealed is a harsh environment that no human can be allowed to enter. But TEPCO did manage to capture several useful images. This one shows pipes that have partially rusted. A nuclear expert gave us his take on the more useful pictures. The coating inside the containment vessel might be peeling off in places after being exposed to high temperatures. But the images also tell us that the interior of the vessel suffered no major damage. All right, and what did TEPCO fail to find with this latest survey? It failed to locate the surface of the coolant water. That was the main purpose of the survey. The camera took this vertical image inside the vessel. The grating is located four meters from the bottom of the vessel. TEPCO had expected it to be covered by water. And you mean the melted fuel in the reactor may not be submerged? TEPCO did collect other evidence during the survey to show that the fuel is being kept relatively cool. It measured the temperature inside the inside the containment vessel for the first time during the survey. It was 44.7 degrees Celsius, low enough to indicate the fuel is in a cool and stable condition. Professor Ninokata said TEPCO needed to continue to study the situation inside the reactors to prepare for decommissioning work. I believe the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. This survey was the first step for TEPCO to ascertain what's going on inside reactors rather than relying on assumption. Getting a clear look inside the reactors is essential for TEPCO to develop a safe and efficient plan for decommissioning. The utilities says it will attempt another inspection after developing a new type of camera that can go further inside and, uh, and get a clearer view. All right, we sure are looking forward to that. <clears throat> Yoshiyuki Yamasaki for this week's Nuclear Watch. Thank you, Yamasaki. Appreciate it. Thank you.